typical man. I want to go shopping and you're driving. So help me, I'm going to have some fun today, even if it kills you. I just need to finish getting ready. Ah, screw it, I'm gorgeous. Come on, Tony. People who can only speak gibberish can enjoy ethnically diverse rock and roll. It was wrong of me to hold oh, something back with Crowfish. Wait here, sexy. I won't be long. But I just wanted to see what it looked like in the daylight. Take your goddamn hands off me. A lot of indigenous tribes. Yes, absolutely. They get no questions asked. Don't thank me. I'm rock and roll 25%. 25%? Yes, it's a very symbolic number. You have to understand the balance 25% music, 25% communal with nature, and the rest is. is. It's like this. You, you may say he bark and shaman frogs and pouty lizards is for the hallucinogens, but to me it's medicine, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess so. All right, right, exactly, Melissa. I was talking to the wife the other day while we relaxed in between bouts of tantric sex. And she said, Crow, you're a great man. And I said, yeah, but I can still be humble. And she said, you've got a massive penis. Whoa. You did well to go solo. And I said, oh, that was fun. But I'm going to need to pick up some more stuff. She said, I love you. And I said, I know. That's why I left my first wife and four young kids. And she said, that's really spiritual. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. Um... So, anyway, I read on the internet that your real name is Bernard Gordon. Don't say that name ever again. Well, I was just, I mean... That man is dead to me. Dead, do you hear me? That's why I don't have a driver's license and have to travel by limo and private jet. When the old me died, I really felt I had to do something. I mean, I have been so blessed and it is my duty to give something back as an artist and a human being. Listen to this. That chief who appeared on my last album playing that sacred animal skin tape, great bloke, really spiritual, right? With the money he got from his quarter of 1% royalty on the last album, he got himself a submarine. <laughs> Dumb bastard lives in a jungle. If that's not freedom, I don't know what is. Okay, so anyway, let's take a break. Liberty City Free Radio. We will never sell out to the corporations. And now for some more underwriting. Joshua, what are you doing in here? Is that a nuclear bomb? Where did you learn how to make this? I found out how on the internet. Ha! I'm finally going to show that bitch teacher Mrs. Henderson a thing or two about physics. The internet may appear like it's full of information, but most of it's the wrong kind of information. Like how to pick locks, steal calls from payphones, and suffocate Keep classmates. Keep the engine running. Keep off the Mom, internet. Mom, Maria, no more stealing. Oh, to hush, Tony, baby. That was all a misunderstanding back there. I'm telling you, I don't have anything hidden up there. Get the hell off of me. Stop! Get me back Leave. to my place. You're on The Breathing World with me, Melissa Chowder. Coming up later, we've got a really interesting piece on Cave Art in Holland. But first, a Breathing World exclusive. My special guest, megastar and savior, Crow. Crow, this is not the first time we've met, is it? Oh, Melissa. We met last week at the jungles of Peru when you came to see me recording my new album. It was really incredible. I love the jungle. Thanks, yeah. Sometimes I really like to get back to you speech. Yes, um, you could see that by the 70-foot RV you had flown in just how much. The inside was great. Oh, I need an air-conditioned environment for me yoga. I tried a Native American sweat. I don't know ways to boost it. Anyway, play the tape. That's why I agreed to come on the show. I could have gone on anywhere. Okay, okay. Well, here is me speaking. Tony, honey, I had a great time today. Maybe you can drop by later and we can have some more fun. See you later, handsome.
number one board game is now a fully licensed video game. Vivisection. Give up! 